1969 Triumph 1300. Easily the best condition 1300 we've ever had in here. Really fabulous car. Sold with two massive history files. Um, really, really in-depth history files. Nice sensible mileage. I believe we've got enough in the history files to confirm that as well. I think it's 69,000 miles, but we'll have a look in a second. In this lovely colour of Valencia blue. Um, mostly unrestored. Doesn't look like it's had a lot of weld nor a lot of major work on it. Um, it's obviously had a little bit of pit work here and there, but it's been very high quality. Um, we're going to start by having a good look at the bodywork, and then we're going to move on to the interior, and we'll go for a cold engine starter. I, I parked it here to do the video last night, um, so gen it hasn't been started since since about five o'clock yesterday. So we'll go for a true cold engine starter. Starting on the driver's side, if we look down this side, it's lovely and straight all the way down there. Um, amazingly for a Triumph, the panel gaps are very, very good all the way down the car. Driver's front wing, nice and clean in this seam here. Normally if they've had loads of paint work, that's sort of caked up with paint and all horrible, whereas this one's nice and tidy. Arch itself is sharp and crisp all the way around, lovely and clean. It's on the original correct spec silver steel wheels with the chrome center caps with the, the uh, Triumph badge in the middle. Loads of tread left on the tire. Rest of this front wing is all nice. We've got one little stone chip just there, and there's another one just there if we're being really picky. Uh, around the uh, the windscreen, the, seam, the seal is lovely and soft. It's not dried out or cracked or anything like that. The scuttle itself is lovely and clean. Coming up the A-pillar, there's no sign of any stone chips. There's no corrosion peeking through the top of the screen or anything like that. And that brings us up onto the roof, which again is lovely and flat. No ripples, no dents. If we're being really picky, there's the odd little light swirl. You can just see that. Maybe a good cut and polish to get rid of that. I'm guessing it's been sat with a car cover on it. It's normally the sign. Uh, but again, I'd be amazed if that didn't polish back really well. Lovely and clean on the glass on this side. All nice and clear. There's no ingrained scratching in any of that. And all the seals are nice and soft. They've not dried out or cracked or anything like that. All good on the driver's door. If we're being really picky, there's a tiny little stone chip there. Um, but to be honest, that's how good this car is. I am going to be incredibly picky on it. We do have another couple of stone chips down the very bottom there, but you have to get right on top of them to see them. If we pop the camera underneath from here. Again, really nice and tidy under there. The sill all the way along is sharp and crisp. It's got a light coating of under seal, but it's not caked. You can see it's not a patchwork quilt of welding. Exhaust looks to be nice and tidy as well. Continuing down this side, there's a very small mark just there that's been touched in. You can just see that. Nothing else to note on that rear door. Arch itself again, sharp all the way around. Nice and clean and tidy. Another good wheel, tyre and steel trim. And then looking back up this side, again, like I say, lovely and neat all the way up. Chrome work, it's generally pretty good. There's a tiny bit of pitting on this bumper, um, but again, the owner's... Got time that he thinks the car's unrestored, so that will be its original bumper in its original condition, so generally very, very good. Underneath there, again, all clean and tidy under there. Nothing to whinge about on the back end here. The tail lights are bright and clear. If we come up onto the deck lid, again, lovely there. Nice, soft rear window seal. These seams here you want to look at normally. You're looking for a bit of corrosion popping through there, but they're all good. Nothing coming out down the bottom here where you get a bit of trap moisture. You can see the parcel shelf is nice as well. Round up the passenger side and again down this side, lovely and neat. And amazingly for a Triumph, the door gaps, like I mentioned earlier on, are very good. Rear quarter, all nice and tidy on there. Arch again, sharp and clean. And another good wheel uh, and trim and tyre. Can have another look at the roof from up here. Again, like I say, there's no ripples or dents or anything in that. Really very, very good. All the glass on this side, same story as the other side, lovely and clean, nice soft seals. Chrome work on both sides is very good. Rear door, we've got no, no marks to whinge about on that one or on the front door on this side. Sill on this side, again, all good there. We'll put the camera underneath from this side. Really very tidy under there. It's been parked here all night as well. You can see there's no fluid on the floor or anything like that. Continue our way forward. Chrome work on the door mirror. Again, really very tidy. 
Got a little bit of a stone chip just here on the leading edge of the scuttle where it meets the bonnet. Very, very minor. It's only just broken the paint there. The rest of the scuttle is all good. A pillar is nice and tidy. Along the leading edge of the screen on that side is good. Windscreen itself is particularly clear. It's got like a sort of a mock tax disc there from the year it was first registered. And then obviously last time it had a proper tax disc. Uh, but I say huge history file with this one as well. Front wing, lovely and tidy down the bottom here is nice. Arch itself is sharp all the way around. And your final good wheel and tire. Nice matching Dunlop tires all around as well. All good on that front wing. And again, like I said, these seams are where you want to check. That's nice and tidy. Front chrome bumper is lovely all the way along. It's got this very nice barge bar with these proper period correct barges on it. Lovely and neat on the front of the bonnet and up onto the bonnet itself. It's got one stone chip there that's been touched in. But other than that, very, very tidy. And again, another sign that it hasn't had loads of paint work is there's no buildup of paint in those vents, which is normally caked with paint, as you would imagine. But lovely little spotlights down the bottom there. The valance on the front is nice. Again, like I say, you can see there's no fluid dropping on the floor. Ignore that little dot there. That was there from before we parked up. So overall, outside, very, very clean and tidy. You'd be more than happy parking that on a show field. The interior, especially, with, so this Valencia blue and this lovely tan leather interior. It's a really nice combo. The wood on the door is all very good, as is the vinyl section and the carpet bit along the bottom. That will look dirty on the camera, but if you get nice and close, you can see it is good. And normally it's these plastic bits that crack, especially with the way that the winders work, but this one's in lovely condition. Driver's seat, very, very good. All the beading's nice. Perforated section is lovely and tidy. Nice and soft as well. It's not uh, sort of lopsided or collapsed or anything like that. Carpet set's good. We've got that big heel pad, which is in nice condition. The wood on the dash, again, lovely and tidy, as is the top. And the dials are fabulous and clean. There's no hazing or anything on those. 67,307 miles, which again, we believe, looking at the paper, it looks to be correct. We'll detail all of that in the description for you. Really nice and tidy on the uh, on the steering wheel. We'll pop the bottom over here. It has had the stereo put in, but it's sort of all sat on top of things. So it was there. There your ashtrays on this. So there, and then there's a couple on the parcel shelf, but you can lift them out. They do look right in the car, to be fair. I personally wouldn't remove them. Rear driver's side again, lovely and clean on the door card. Door, the wood is all very good. Backs of the seats in here are all nice and neat. And then that rear bench seat, it doesn't look like it's been sat in at all. Really very good. Parcel shelf's lovely. Comes with a nodding dog. Headlining's lovely and tidy. And then into the boot. It's been a very uh, fastidious owner, so he's got a whole load of spares to go with it. Comes with the cushions that were on the back seats. If we have a look under here, you can see it's all nice and neat under there as well. Underside of the boot lid is very good. You can tell how good the owner is when you look at the history file. It's so well organized. Lovely and neat on that rear door card there. And again, same story on the bench on this side. Nowhere, really very good. No funny smells in there, no signs of any trap moisture. All the doors shut really well as well. Lovely on that door card there. And the passenger seat, again, as good as you'd expect for the rest of the seats, all very, very good. Little bit of dirt ingrained there, that one's cleaned off. But other than that, all very good. And again, the wood on this side, fantastic. For a small car, we're definitely not short of ashtrays. Four or five in there, but it doesn't smell of smoke at all. This is my favorite bit on this car. This engine bay is fabulous. Really, really nice in there. Still got all the correct instructions on there for the cooling system and things. Lovely and neat around the radiator. Inner wings and everything with the plaques in the right places. A lovely and clean and tidy in the scuttle. No sign of any trap moisture or any corrosion or anything like that. Look at how clean that air cleaner is. Really, really fabulous in there. We'll get it fired up. Again, like I say, it was parked here last night. Gone stone cold, so we're going to give it some joke, not loads. And it fires up on the button straight away. Idles beautifully. Nothing nasty coming out the back. So there you have it, 1969 Triumph 1300. Really fantastic example, huge history file. If you check the description, we'll detail all of that in there. We are open every day for viewings. If you can't get to us for viewings, again, give us a ring. We can talk you around the car. We can 
can send you extra photos or videos, whatever you might need. Thank you.